Hello friends, in this video we're going to take a look at how we can combine Excel files from a folder using Power BI. We have already seen how to combine CSV files, but let's dive a little deeper into how do we work with Excel files. So the scenario here is we have these multiple files, let's say by department, and uh, the first one we're going to tackle is we're going to tackle getting the product detail sheet from each of these files. So we have accessories, product detail, bikes and clothing product detail. So let's head over to Power BI Desktop and we're going to go get data, more, and I just go to file and folder. Hit connect. We're going to point to our folder, learn Power BI, hit OK. Now it gives me this option. I have a few options here. I can say combine and edit, combine and load, or just click load, which will load the table as is, if that's what you're looking for, or edit, which would lend, uh, land you in the editing pane with these files. So for now, I'm going to say combine and edit. And it brings me this screen, which says combine files, and it's saying, hey, select the object you want to be extracted from each file. So at least in this scenario, uh, we can examine the different files and for our scenario we're going to just select an example file and say product detail so that's the element i want to be extracted from each file now when i hit ok it's going to do all the heavy lifting for me so we're back and notice my query is ready it went ahead and grabbed the you know the the, uh, the product detail sheet from each of those and this is the end result so all the hard work is done but you notice that man it, it created quite a slew of queries well that's okay uh, now it keeps the source name the file name here you can delete it if you don't want it but that's our table we can hit just hit close and apply and we're going to end up with our power bi product table. Let me rename it really quick. The first scenario is very clean, but let's imagine a scenario where we need to combine the budget summary file. So if you go to the file, so you can see budget summary, it is slightly more cluttered, we need more transformations. And this time we need to grab the budget summary file from each of these Excel files. So let's see how we can do that. We're going to go back to Power BI Desktop again, get data, more file folder, hit OK. Same folder as before. And we're going to click Combine and Edit. Again, it asks me to choose the element to be extracted and this time I'm looking for budget summary so I'll select that hit OK and it's done so I'll say budget summary great but unlike product which was very clean and it did everything right and this table was ready to load if you look at budget summary it's full of gunk right I mean gosh all those header rows and all those files they've been combined so we don't we don't quite want that. So at this point, you have two options. One option is that you do your cleanup in the combined file. But if you're willing to dive into the innards of uh, the structure that was the scaffolding that was created for you, there is an easier way, which is which is actually going to work better, which is you instruct Power BI or teach Power BI how to process each file before it's combined in this manner. So what's happening here is that it's the key uh, step here is where it invokes this custom function, right? And it's invoking this, this function right here, this one. Now, if I were to go over and look at that function and click advanced editor, it's going to give me a warning. And what this warning is saying is that this function is tied to this query like Siamese twins. Whatever change you make to this one is going to be reflected in this function. However, if you were to 
ignore this warning, then that link would be broken. Uh, right, so that's how Power BI is set up. So again, so we can use this to our advantage, we can go to this sample file sample transformation, and build a set of transformation which we want to be applied on each tab, each budget summary tab before it's pulled in. So let's step through those really quick, remove top rows, similar to what we have seen earlier. And we'll say does not contain Great. Use first row as headers. Remove. All right, so we're done with these, and all of these changes are reflected in our file. So if we go to our budget summary table, there's an error, but this is pretty meaningless. It's only happening on the change type step. Uh, change type step. We can easily fix that. If you go back to our custom function, that's where the custom function is invoked. And then if you look at when the results are expanded, then you see that it's a very clean table because all the steps that we apply to the sample file are now being invoked using the function on each of the uh, of the uh, sheets here. So that's it, I can kind of ignore the change type because I've already handled change type in the function. Uh, so that's it. So either way, if you have a clean way, um, a clean file, combining that is easy. And in that case, you can pretty much ignore all of these underlying functions. But if you have a complex scenario, and if you combine it, and it doesn't yield the results that you need, then you can go in to the sample file. And notice you can tell that by the icon here. So you don't want to be editing the function, uh, the function here with the FX icon. In fact, as you saw earlier, it's going to give you a warning if you try to do that. So the way to do it is whatever changes transformation you apply to this is going to be applied mirrored in the function and in turn is going to be applied to each of the elements which are being extracted and combined. So another question that I've been asked is how do I combine files but retain the file name? As you notice here in both of these, the, the file name is retained. So it has source name and the budget summary has uh, the source name as well. So if you follow this process, you're going to have the file name and later maybe you can use that uh, as part of your data set if you need.